What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the game and uh, I want to be serious with you, with you guys tonight. Um, normally, you know, I like doing, uh, uh, trying uh, new things for my videos for my channel that are quite possibly one of the most popular things on my channel right now. But right now I want to talk about something serious um, right now. Good. Oh, for the last few weeks, you know, we've been dealing with, uh, like, this kill, kill the bill protests. And um, it all really started since a police officer kidnapped and murdered Sarah Everard. And now I will admit, it is scary to think that our police officers walking our streets right now, right now, who are like that sick, like that sick prick. Because the police are here to protect us. And yet, there are people among their ranks who abuse their power. And stuff like that happens. Now, they had, there was a vigil memorial for Sarah Everard. And, you know, hundreds of people gathered for the for memorial service and then the and then the and then the metropolitan police arrived and dispersed the crowd and i will admit in a very brutal fashion right of course right now with the pandemic you know the police are going to say you know you know it's the about the maintaining the social distancing and stuff like that and you know you're not supposed to be doing the gatherings like that but i will admit I believe the police really overstepped their bounds with that with this one because they were very very aggressive with dispersing the, this memorial they did not need to be as aggressive and sometimes violence now my father was a police officer for 29 years and when when I was younger Whenever he went out to work, I always got scared. I always got scared. I'm just thinking, you know, is he going to come home? Is he going to come home? I mean, um, I could say goodbye. I could say I could say goodbye to my dad. You know, give my dad a hug, and um, just think, you know, I just like say, I'll just saying, oh, please be safe. Please be safe when you go to work because being a police officer is being a dangerous job. I gather that. I know that. And again, police officers out there who overstep their bounds, who, who go too far with their power. So I believe the police who, who broke up the memorial did overstep the bounds. And, you know, one of their boss, you know, she's saying that, you know, they were within their rights. I don't think so. And now because of that, these kill the bill protests have really escalated saying that you know they want peace and stuff like that prosperity for, um and yet a lot of the times it ends with uh the protesters get being arrested because they're attacking the police um like, and you see like police officers who are like bad and bruised and some protesters are bad and bruised because it actually turns into an actual fist fight they actually do fight the police which will then sometimes end and with protesters ending in handcuffs, or the protesters are ma managed to manage to get away, but you know, there's the evidence and stuff like that all over all over their faces. Uh, police cars and vans are being set alight. Police stations are getting ram raided, and yet they say they want peace. How can you have peace? How can you say you want peace? When you are smashing up police stations, setting up, setting their car, uh, vans and cars on fire, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't doesn't really make sense, guys. I know it's right now hard to trust the police. My trust in them really has been shaken because again, it says yes. I'm going to say it one more time. Sometimes they overstep their bounds, but you cannot say that you want peace. And everything. When you cause destruction, when you cause violence, it sends mixed messages. 
And because when you do that, you're not the only ones who suffer. You protesters don't only suffer. The police don't only suffer. Everyone suffers. Because every time if a police officer gets injured, it makes the public more vulnerable. There'll be less officers on the streets to help the people in public who need help. So if you want to go around and protest, absolutely. But don't cause any chaos. It just makes the situation worse. And the chances are, it's a lot, okay? And I'm not saying it's every single one of, every single one of you who, who are protesting. It's just the select few who call, who go out there to cause destruction. It doesn't help your core. It doesn't help your cause for wanting peace. It doesn't help it. So if you want to go go out there and protest against the police, absolutely go. Fair enough, go do it. Because if you don't trust them, you don't like them, you don't respect them, fine. But just make sure that you don't do anything that you that you will end up regretting. Because the, really, because at the end of the day. Every single one of us will suffer from it. Every single one of us will suffer from it. Okay. That's all I've got to say um, on this issue uh, right now. So, but if any of you, but you know, if you disagree with what I have to say, you know, fair enough. But that's just my view. And um, so, you know, if you want to go out and protest, again, be my guest. But don't do anything stupid puts everyone at risk.